1968, this teenager who craved a normal private life celebrated her 16th birthday with her first driver's license and a new car, a Volkswagen convertible. The next year, Jody shot Foxes, neither a big hit nor a career turning point. But the film did capture the essence of a quickly maturing Jodie Foster. She played one of four very different San Fernando Valley friends. Jody was the confident, self-reliant one. Marilyn Kagan played her skittish, insecure friend. We all seem to be our characters to some degree. Everybody that we played had an element, I think Jody included, had an element of ourselves, deeply within ourselves, within the character. Cherie Curry's character was the wild one always getting into trouble. A real-life member of the rock band The Runaways, Curry was new to acting and very nervous. Brandy, Jody's mom, really didn't like me and didn't want me to be in the film. And Jody was uh, so sweet. She really worked with me. And uh, I think that, it, that they were taking a chance with me. And then the first day of shooting, when the camera was on me, just somehow uh, it, it seemed to happen. And, you know, Jody really helped with that. She was really, really wonderful. Sally Kellerman played Jody's mother in Foxes. I wasn't surprised when she became a director because she, she knew all the lenses and was always asking questions and knew where the lights were, you know, kind of like Streisand or something. Um, and she was very sweet and darling. Still 17 when she shot the film, Jody's strong presence on the set seemed to intimidate first-time director Adrian Lyne. Like the producer-director she would become, Jody often took control like when a teen actor misbehaved during shooting. He basically uh, jumped on top of me and planted a huge kiss on me, practically putting me over the back of the, into the back seat of the car, and Jody was furious because it was really, wasn't what the scene called for, and she closed the set down for two hours because she just thought that was inappropriate behavior. And she was very open and available in talking about how much she had a crush on Scott Bayo years ago, and they were very cute together still good friends. 